from that from the correct position and the referee orders that it be taken again. It's out on the 45 metre line, out near the far side line. It's uh, eventually taken uh, uh, quickly again and uh, Tom McCurney, the judge, to a foul marker and a free descent for Planning Gale from a much better position. The angle is still tight, but it's now in round 21 yard line. This time, can look determined to have a pot of gold. Once again, it's number 10, Aidan Sherlock. Facing up to this one. Chance to give Plan a bigger lead, but it's taken by Van Mark in front of the goals. Man inside the square, referee judges, and it's a free over again. Brian looks around. So really kick it. Kicks it in and out on the far side. Out there. Come on, come on, Kieran go. Gone. Kieran Nolan, he's on the stage. As he comes up as far as the 50 yard line. Then he delivers the ball uh, up towards Brian Higgins. Brian Higgins uh, gets the ball. He appears to be fouled. He is fouled. That's a quick red thing. Just there on the 50 yard line. He takes it quickly and uh, takes it uh, as far as uh, David Tansy. David Tansy gets the ball. Oh, a bad kick. And uh, Clanny Gale come away with it. As the ball comes to their number 12, David Henry. David Henry, lively minor from last year, uh, making progress down this side of the field. Here's the ball back down, but he's on the 50 yard line. Uh, he feeds it in. He's at the end of the day. And uh, Kieran Gormley uh, going for the ball. It's uh, cut out. Back in by the Clanny Gale defence, but it comes to Martin Bork. Martin Bork will out near the sideline. He hops the ball. Uh, he attempts to pull him outside across the sideline. Eventually, his kick is blocked down by Elon Gavin. Elon puts it out over the sideline and it's a line ball. Clanny Gale, two points. Richard. Richard. No. Locked down again there by the afternoon. The ball comes to me now. Given now out here near the sideline. He uh, feeds it down, pulls it down along the line. There's David Henry. David Henry feeding it into the corner, to the corner forward. And uh, now the ball is with Henry. He kicks it across the goals. But uh, once again, the accuracy letting him down and the ball goes wide. The scoreboard says plan two, Elfin two. But I don't think Elfin have two points. I think it's two points to one. We're 15 minutes gone in the first half. Very low scoring. Well Brian Morgan prepares to take this kick out once more. Come up, David. <laughs> Big, long kick out over the far side of the field there. A, a push by uh, the uh, uh, thin. Uh, and Sandy Gale come away into the attack there. Number eight, Paddy Nocton, Nocton getting the ball in. Uh, and it's intercepted by Dermot Neary for Elfin. Dermot Neary making a bit of a solo run. It's surrounded by two climbing, but he gets past them. And he's on his own 50 yard line now as he kicks the ball way up the far side there towards uh, Brian Higgins. But Sandy uh, Gale come away with it and delivered over the side of the field. David Henry getting a lot of possession in the last few minutes. Uh, David kicking it into the corner again. And into the corner. David O'Neill, David O'Neill. Uh, Martin Burke, Martin Burke uh, gets it as uh, a hop. Uh, cool, David O'Neill there. And Martin kicks it up along the side. Line here, jostling for it is Liam Butler. Uh, Liam Butler appeared to be fouled with a hand uh, around the neck there of his marker. His marker being number four, Dennis Gavin, and Liam Butler earns a free for Elfin. Two points to one. Liam Butler appears to be going to take this one out of his hands. He kicks it in towards uh, Ender Brady. It's a wild looking kick, but uh, Ender comes out as far as it. Uh, he's uh, on the ground, but he's still in possession. He's been well tackled there by the Clanny Gale number two. The number two is Niall Lennon. And uh, the ball is adjudged by the umpire to have gone wide. And uh, obviously, it's been just over the end line. And it is a free out, a kick out for Clanny Gale from the edge of the small square. Salem O'Neill to take this one again. Phelan coming up to this one, kicks it out towards the middle of the field, Chris Roddy is uh, under it, so is Kieran Brady, but the clan man gets it, and the clan man is Daniel Harney, Daniel Harney uh, fouled in by Kieran Brady, in frustration, and Daniel comes away with the ball and he kicks it down towards the middle of the field, and he's with uh, David Kelly, David Kelly feeding it into Enon Gavin, Enon Gavin, as Dermot here, he approaches him, Enon takes a shot in it, goes, it's a high, high ball, but it's a wide ball, Enon's actually letting him down, Enon who's filled in many positions, for well Finn, for Fanny Gale, and indeed for Roscommon, lining out at centre forward today. Accuracy. Not Line care and keep tight to your man. on that occasion. Yeah. As Morgan places right the ball the for the kick out. 
Very, very low scoring. In the middle of the field is Canny Gale again. Seems to be getting all the breaks at this stage as the ball is uh, fed in towards the corner forward. Uh, corner forward is David O'Neill, David O'Neill and uh, Martin Bock is after him. Martin Bock uh, appears to foul him and Martin Bock uh, does foul him and it's a free in for Canny Gale from a very scoreable position just outside the 21 yard line. No doubt, uh, number 10, Ethan Sherlock will have another pass of putting this one over the bar to increase Canny Gale's lead. Sherlock kicks it, Sherlock kicks it over the bar, and that's a good fine point for Canny Gale to increase their lead now to three points to one. And we're uh, about 19 minutes gone in the first half. Two pointed frees from Aidan Sherlock, a free uh, point from play by Mark McKenna, and uh, Elfin's reply, a point by midfielder Louis Dockery. Callahan appears to be playing further out from goal at this stage. <coughs> Brian Morgan kicks the ball towards him, centre of the field. Rossa goes up for it and uh, knocks it down as far as uh, Brendan Neary. Brendan Neary has the ball making progress for a thin up along the far wing there. He looks up, solos the ball again. He's uh, now confronted by two markers and in fact he's going to be beaten by uh, his marker as he just took his eye off the ball there for a minute. And uh, Clanny Gale come away with it, it comes away with uh, uh, Sherlock kicking the ball uh, in. Tom McDermott going for it for Elfin there, uh, but the Kelly Gilman has it, and away comes Dermot here with the ball. Dermot solos the ball, Dermot is supposed to take a surge uh, through the middle there now, as he kicks the ball up towards uh, Inda Brady. Uh, the ball knocked down to Will Finman going for it together there and uh, Clanny Gale come away with it, Paul Bruce uh, knocking it out there to the side of the ball is eventually cleared out in the middle and it's David Kelly with it again, David playing very effectively, gets it back to Bruce and Bruce delivers it uh, down once again between Martin Burke and his marker and his marker at uh, this time gets it and a lose Martin Burke and he gets inside and a good chance for Clanny Gale there now is Martin Kina, that's the ball, Martin Kina takes his shot but he's just a wide, a very bad miss there by full forward Martin Kina having been uh, put through by number 15, David O'Neill Looted his marker, got the ball across the but Martin sent that one wide as the wide's tally mounts. The score stays still at Clannigale, three points, and Finn, one point, and we're done 20 minutes in the first half. Mark kicks it out. Once again, trying to get knock it down there. Uh, but uh, racing onto the break, there's Rossa Callahan now beginning to play deeper and deeper. Gets the ball to Dermot Neary. Dermot Neary getting the ball up. Uh, this, uh, uh, Roddy uh, uh, bats the ball down. But uh, Clanny Gale come away with it again. Uh, into the corner again. As David O'Neill uh, has the ball and David takes a shot this time. This looks a good one. It looks like it goes straight over the top. Uh, and uh, David uh, getting a lot of possession there at the moment and making that one count. Danigale four points, Elfin one. As Elfin take the remedial action and the two cornerbacks switch wings, Tom McDermott comes over to deal with the threat of David O'Neill and Martin Burke moves over to the far side to confront James Knott. Brian Mark kicking it out again. Oh, Callahan is under this one, but uh, the ball breaks, and once again it breaks to a Fanny Gale man. As they're uh, picking up all the breaks, a quick free then taken by Fanny Gale. Uh, as far as Enon Gavin, Enon Gavin uh, has the ball as he approaches the 50 yard line, uh, lofting it in there. Uh, it appears to be a defender's ball as Martin Burton uh, has this one as he goes out to it. As he's uh, being chased by number 12, David Henry. Uh, in fact, he's getting himself into a bit of trouble there as he's uh, dispossessed, but the Fanny Gale man touches the ball on the ground and a relief for Elfin. Martin appeared to have a bit of time on his hands there, but the time quickly evaporated. The ball comes out now to Rossa Callahan. Rossa out on the far side of the field there, uh, feeding it up, but the uh, Clanny Gale defence wide to this one. And uh, the Malone kicks the ball over the sideline. When uh, under no serious pressure, but he certainly got into possession to intercept that uh, Finn attack. And there he takes a slug from the bottle before he takes this sideline kick. Out exactly in the middle of the field. Kicks it up. Kieran Brady uh, goes up for it. It breaks down as far as Russell Callahan and uh, a foul on an Elfin forward there, and it's a free in for Elfin. Which uh, Russell Callahan has the ball in his hands. Now he's putting it down. And I'm sure he's going to have a pot at goal. Come here. 
Johnny Gale 4, Elfin 1. Small gap beginning to develop between the sides at this stage. And Elfin could badly do it a score. Go ahead to the one they got way back early in the game from Louis Dockery. Ross O'Callaghan sending it in. Uh, the ball, unfortunately, goes to the left and goes wide. All the spikes from Elfin on that occasion. As Phelan O'Neill once more prepares to kick out for Clanny Gale. So we're out the middle of the field again. No uh, clean ball we caught in the middle of the field with the breaks coming all Clanny Gale's way as uh, Paul Bruce uh, knocks it down again, close to pull forward, pull forward uh, and, and pull back. Uh, the pull forward is uh, Kina. Kina gets the ball, but it's intercepted by Brendan Neary, he's passing for several Brendan Neary. Uh, he's kicked half block down, but uh, it comes as far as the midfielder, Paddy Nachton. Nachton uh, plays the ball out along the far side of Clanagale, still on the attack there. Sherlock has the ball now, uh, he gets it in to uh, number 13. Number 13 is James Nachton. James Nachton is being uh, chased by Martin Burke. James Nachton still has the ball, he's in a tight position, but he's uh, getting inside Martin Burke, who gets back to him again, and eventually uh, Elfin clear the danger as that pass out uh, was. Knocked out there by Brendan Neary, who got it down a little bit further. Louis Dockery now, uh, having the ball, gives a bad pass. No, he gets it as far as Russell Callaghan. Russell Callaghan is onto the ball, a foul there from behind by the uh, Clanny Gale man, and that is uh, a free for Elfin, and in fact, the referee is going for his little book to record his displeasure of that uh, tackle to the Clanny Gale man. We have to wait and see is this a first booking, a second booking, a real booking, or a number noting, or what under the new regime will we, we'll take it. That it was a booking. As the ball comes to Kieran Brady, he crosses the 50 yard line. Uh, he uh, locks up as he's uh, challenged now by his marker. Uh, eventually, he loses the ball and then uh, forwards holding on to just that little bit long. The referee has blown his whistle. He wants to see uh, how Kieran Brady is. As Kieran appears to be in some distress down there. A little bit of a hold up at the moment. As Kieran Brady has been looked at. Chair Rock is in there, the physio is in there as well. He appears to be in some bother. One has been worked by the physio and the management. He appears still to be in quite a bit of bother as he gingerly takes up his position. The referee is going to resume play by throwing the ball in. He throws it in. It's contested there, Russell Callahan knocks it down, comes back in the first, Louis Dockley, Louis Dockley uh, plays it over the far side of the first, Brian Higgins, Brian Higgins feeding it in there, now Russell Callahan, and again uh, uh, Paul Roos makes a, a lunge at uh, Russell Callahan there, obviously getting very close attention from the Clanny uh, Gale backs, and the referee wants to talk to Paul about that one. And in fact, the name has been entered in the book, and number six, as Ross, and none the worse for wear, prepares to take this free. Yeah, pretty good position. In front of the goals. And Ross kicks the ball over the bar. There, a second point for Elfin, narrowing the gap. Planigale, four points. Elfin, two points. And we're gone uh, about 28 minutes in the first half. At this stage, a uh, bit of a delay there while Kieran Brady was being attended to. There may be some injury time for that. But I think close the gap to two across the Callan's point, adding on to the one Louis Dockery got much, much earlier in the first half. Phelan O'Neill taking his second kick out from the 21. Out into the middle of the field again. The ball breaks once more, and the break once more comes to a Clanny Gale man. And the Clanny Gale man this time is number five. Paul White, Paul White is fouled. That's a free for Clanny Gale just out from the centre of the field. Ball for the centre back, Paul Bruce. Paul Bruce kicking the ball in. Dangerous looking.